Welcome to the Sky Age Channel. Let's begin with valence electrons. Valence electrons are electrons found on the outermost orbital of an atom. These orbitals are also called shells or energy levels. In the first energy level, there are two electrons. The second and third energy levels each contain eight electrons. In the first three periods of the periodic table, there are eight groups of elements. As you go from left to right in the eight groups, the number of valence electrons goes from one to eight, increasing each time. Now we move on to Lewis dot diagrams. Let's begin with Krypton. We know Krypton has eight valence electrons. We first want to draw the symbol, Kr. We know that Krypton has eight valence electrons, so the diagram will have eight dots. We first start with the cross. We then going clockwise, we put a, a dot on the right side of each line. But then we still have four dots left, so then we put them on the left of the line. This is what it'll look like when we're done and when we erase the crosses. Here is a fluorinin and oxygen Lewis dot diagram. Fluorine has seven valence electrons and oxygen has six. Now let's explain oxidation numbers. This is the charge of an ion when electrons are either gained or lost to fill an empty energy level. Let's use lithium as an example. Lithium only has one valence electron, so it's easier to lose that one electron than gain seven other electrons. So once it loses that electron, its outer shell is empty. Losing a negatively charged electron would result in a positively charged atom. Since one electron is being lost, the oxidation number is positive one. We can use oxidation numbers to find chemical formulas. Using the crisscross method, we can determine how many atoms of an element and how many of another will form a compound. Imagine sulfur's oxidation number is negative two and calcium is positive one. To make zero, we need two calcium atoms and one sulfur atom. This makes Ca2S or calcium sulfide. This is the end of our video. Thanks for watching! watching.